Hey guys, welcome back to Coastal Dime Fitness. So I'm back today to bring you a brand new toning series called Fibro Fit, specifically designed for people dealing with chronic pain issues such as fibromyalgia and arthritis. This workout is super easy to follow and this one today focuses on your lower half, your legs, butt, and thighs. We're gonna use a chair, a squishy mat, a foam roller, but if you don't have a foam roller in your house, you can just use a rolled up thick towel. And I'm going to be showing you how to do the workout with light weights, two pounds or less. But if this is your first time working out in a long time, avoid the weights today and see how you feel a couple of days from now. If you're not in too much pain, then you can bring the weights in next time. So I'm excited. Let's get started with the warm up. See you in a minute. So you're gonna start with a big inhale up, and exhale down, roll those shoulders up to your ears and back, one more. And down, roll those shoulders back, very good. Now, if you can clasp your hands above your head, by all means do that, I can't really. And you're gonna push them up as high as you can, and you're gonna arch your back, as far as feels comfortable here. This will help realign the spine and give us good posture so that every move that we do is done in the right way and it prevents any unnecessary pain when we're finished. Bring it back, push it back. Okay, now you're gonna take those arms down to your side and you're gonna roll down really nice and slow into a roll over. You're gonna tap either your shins or your toes, I know my chair is in the way here, but we're gonna use it for the next few stretches, so. Keep going, hold it down here, feel a nice relaxing stretch to the back of your legs and a lengthening here, and then roll it up. Roll the shoulders back, face your chair, take those feet out as wide as you can and what feels comfortable, and turn your toes out to the two corners of the room. You're gonna do little stretches to the side here for one. Keep going on the same side. Two, we're doing five stretches. Three, really lengthening up our inner thighs. Let's switch sides. And releasing some of that tension that's been built up in our hip flexors. If you sit a lot, we tend to have a lot of tension in that area. And that causes pain and we don't want that. Okay, so turn your toes in. And you're just gonna do like booty back. Push your booty back and in. So you're loosening up the hamstrings here. Very good. Smile. You're doing something great for your body. And I know you probably don't feel like doing it today. I understand. Stand on one leg. You're gonna bring the top of your foot, five of rock here, top of your foot back behind you and you're gonna pull it back and bring it down. I know you don't feel like doing this today, but just think about how good you're gonna feel when you're done. This is like medicine for your body. Switch sides. And you might have pain. The first few times you do this, don't feel like you're doing something wrong. That's totally normal. But if you're consistent, it'll get better in no time. So stick with it. Very good. Now, you're gonna take one foot out in front of you and your legs are gonna be in a triangle position. You're just gonna do what we did with those butt pushes out. You're gonna do a deeper stretch here now that you're warm, lengthening out the back of the leg. We're only doing five on each side, so it's not too much on your body too fast. Very good. And as you can see, I'm not going down too far here. So just go down to the point where you feel lengthening in the back of your leg, but not pain, okay? Keep going. Ah, very good. Stand behind your chair. I'm gonna do little heel lifts off the ground. So up, loosening up the calf muscle. We're gonna need it. Very good. Now I'm just gonna show you from the side here. We're gonna do little butt squats with a figure four leg to stretch out our outer thigh. So it's down and up. You don't have to go down quite as far. 
Just do what feels good for you. Everybody's pain level is different on different days, right? And we're all so unique. So what I can do may not be what you can do and vice versa. So just be proud that you're here and that you're making an effort. It's not easy. It's a big accomplishment. I think we did four, five. Yes, very good. Roll those shoulders back. Inhale up one more time and down. Amazing work already. So keep the chair and grab a set of light weights if you're feeling good today and your foam roller. And I'll see you for the first round. Okay, let's get ready for round one. We're gonna start with a standing outer thigh lift. I'm gonna show you how to do it with the weight. Exercise one. Here we go, I got my little lady here. Tell me what to do. All right, so I have the weight like just below the top of my outer thigh, but not quite in the center of my upper leg. If you decide to not grab the weight, you are still gonna feel a major burn in this outer thigh. We're already halfway done. Pretty cool, huh? Go as slow as you need to. And as with always, please listen to your body. Don't do more than you can today. Don't push yourself too much because the tendency is we push ourselves when we feel good. All right, thank you, thank you, timer. We push ourselves when we feel good, and then we crash for like the next week. So try to resist that. So if you need to stretch, you can right here. Loosen that up. Whew, that felt good. I love this routine. You guys have to let me know what you think about it too after you're done, how you feel before and after. Here we go. Lift. Now, as with, again, all the moves, make sure that you only lift as high as you can. If you cannot lift your leg all the way up here today, there's no shame in that. Just go as high as you can in what feels comfortable. And you might notice that one leg is a little bit different than the other leg. A lot of it depends on how tight your hip flexors are, your hamstrings are, that kind of thing. That's why we stretch a lot. Five seconds. Two, one. Woo, you did it. First exercise done. Love it. I love this counter thing. It's like, it gives us something to look forward to. Yes. And it's so hot in the studio today. I'm already dripping, but great work. Let's prepare for our next move. You're gonna be seated. If you want to, you can grab a weight. You're gonna put the weight in the middle of your thigh and you're gonna extend your leg out and then tap it to the floor. Come with me. And again, you can send it halfway here. And then maybe in the middle of the exercise when you're feeling a little bit more warm, you can lift it all the way to full extension. Halfway already. I love her. She's awesome. It gives us so much hope. <sighs> keep going. And if you slightly keep that quad elevated at 90 degrees or a little higher, you're gonna feel the burn even more. <sighs> Rest it out, pull that knee into your chest if you need it. <sighs> it's so, it was such, I can't even talk. It was such a hard video to tape today. Like everything, everything went wrong, I'm telling you. So it's about two o'clock right now and I started at nine. Can you believe that? Oh my goodness. But we have to get this workout out for you guys. Had to do it. Yes, one of those days where technology is not my friend. You guys know what I mean, right? Okay, lift it up. Come on, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Woo! Come on, you can do it. You might feel a little bit of strain in your pelvis area, inner thighs, that's normal. Just drop it and take a break if you need to. Especially with these weights, it's harder. Three, two, one. Amazing. Take a rest, knee pull. Now I'm gonna get up and show you our next exercise that we're gonna do. 
So you're standing again. Actually, I'm gonna put it this way. We're gonna do little calf raises. Then lift it up and then down. Okay, here we go. Lift it up and down. Now the key here is squeezing your butt together and squeezing those heels together. This will make it a little bit more challenging for you. I'm doing a full extension here all the way up on the tip of my tippy toes, but you guys don't have to do that. That's halfway. Halfway done already. We have to work our calves so we look good in those high heels. Definitely. This one, you kind of have a little pelvic tilt here in order to squeeze your booty. Yes, sir. Three, two, one. Woo, you should feel that. Stretch it out. If you need to, you can do a little calf stretch here. Okay, the next one's a little bit more challenging and you might feel some pain in your low back. So just go at your own pace. You're gonna lean forward on your chair. Put all your weight on your standing leg. Point your toe, squeeze your butt, and lift your legs up, and then tap it down. Again, you can go halfway here. No worries, you're still gonna feel the burn. You're gonna shape that little indentation area right underneath your butt. Make it nice, tight, and toned. That's halfway. Ooh, I love this, this is so good. Halfway, it makes me feel like I can keep going. Only eight seconds. Again, if you need to take a break, you can bring your knee in. Ah, now you can bring your knee in. Keep going. And if you guys like this workout, and you wanna see more and join the community, on any of our social media sites, Instagram, Facebook, you can hashtag FibroFit or FibroFit Motivation to see other people who are doing these workouts with you. Helps you keep going, I think. Yes. Squeeze that butt, make this time count. Yes. We don't have to work out for an hour to really feel the burn here. You don't have to do high intensity or heavy weights to see a change in your body. Again, I'm like a broken record. You just need to be consistent. And when you do workouts that make you feel energized and good, you will often come back for more. So that's the theory I go by. How about you guys? Let me know in the comments below. I love your thoughts and I appreciate all the ones you've been giving me so far helps a lot. Okay, moving on, we're gonna do little low lunges here. Set my timer. Exercise one. Okay, these are shallow lunges here. We're starting on one leg. As you can see, I'm not doing the full extension, which would be right here. It's just too hard on the body for people who are dealing with chronic pain. Halfway already. Every time you come up though, make it count. Squeeze your butt. You should feel this in the back of your thighs as well. You breathe in. Don't forget to breathe. Yes, yeah, stretch out those hamstrings and glutes. You earned it. Time is flying by, which we love. Round it up. Get ready for the next side. Here we go. Squeeze that butt on the right side now. Or whatever side you're on, doesn't matter. Just make sure it's the opposite side of what you just did. Gotta make both sides even. Hold your abs in, keep your torso tall. Try not to hunch over when you're doing this. Not proper form, it'll cause pain. 
Come on, you can do it. You're almost done with these standing exercises. it out wow okay you guys keep stretching I'm gonna move the chair off to the side we don't need it anymore and I'm gonna grab the foam roller okay. they're gonna come down come nice and easy down on the mat Three, two, one. Exercise one. okay with the roller just above the back of your knees, you're gonna squeeze your bop up and bring it down. Now you can use your hands here to assist yourself to lift you up. You should feel this in the same way you felt those lunges. That's halfway. You're already halfway done. Your break is coming up. You get your water and your rest. You should also feel this one though in your low back, so. We're getting rid of that back fat and muffin top. Yes. Three, two, one. Rest. Rest it out. Bring your knees into your chest. You guys earn this break. You can stay on the floor for the next eight moves. You're just gonna need your roller and your weights if you're using them. Okay, see you in a minute. Okay, how do you feel? Good? Let's move on to our last eight exercises. This will be all done on the floor. And you're gonna come down onto your back. And we're gonna do inner thigh squeezes with the foam roller. Again, this is where you can grab your towel or if you want, you can grab a little squishy ball here. And you're just gonna squeeze as much as you can. So, squeeze. This is the basic right here, squeezing. Or you can come up into a bridge and squeeze. That makes it a little bit harder, a little more challenging. Or if you're starting to feel more advanced, you can do more. You can add a weight right on your stomach. Halfway. Make sure you keep that booty lifted if you're up here. Support yourself with your hands and smile. Because you're almost done. You're gonna get that. Nice toned inner thigh gap that people like. Rest it out, very good. Now, we can move that foam roller off to the side. Now we're just gonna do bridges here. So bring your heels in close to your butt and to support yourself, you're gonna lift your butt as high as you can here without straining your low back and then halfway down. Ready? Here we go. Up. And again, you can add a weight if you want to your stomach to make it harder, but I think they're hard enough. These exercises alone are gonna reshape your butt. If you have a little butt, it's gonna get toned and a little more round, and if you have a big butt, it's just gonna put everything in place, right? Come on. It burns, it burns, especially if you did those bridges with the inner thigh squeezes. Take a break whenever you need. The break will be bringing your knees into your chest. I know, we're gonna go back to those bridges, but we're gonna do stationary bridges, like right here, and you're gonna alternate heel lifts. We're not going too fast, we're just going nice and slow so you can really focus on the glutes and the calves. Here we go. 
Lift it up, up. It's a bonus move for those nice looking calves. Who doesn't want that? And who said we have to be out of shape and flabby just because we're sick? Now, come on. Exercise is not only amazing at helping change how we look, but it changes how we feel. It even changes our attitude. Definitely need that when you wake up not feeling good every day. It helps increase their tone and levels, all that good stuff. Okay, for this one, you're gonna turn to your side. Okay, ready? Come down. I'm gonna take a weight, rest your head on your arm, and we're gonna do little clamshells here. So I have the weight just on the top of my thigh, and then bring it down. You do not need a weight here, especially if you're losing your form or your balance. Support yourself with your hand. Ready? Here we go. One. Exercise one. Let's go. So this is working our outer thigh, that weird little, I don't even know the area. It's not your outer thigh, it's not your butt. It's like that little pad that's right in between the two. So this exercise is incredible for that. You might notice a little bit of pain, especially if your hips are tight. That's normal. That's normal. Just keep your stretching routine going every single day and you're gonna notice that doing this move gets easier and easier really fast. Okay, you can stretch it out right here. Dessert. My microphone's been like really touchy lately, so I have to test it out. So get ready, get in position here. Make sure that your hips are stacked, your body's aligned, and you're not falling too far forward or back. Oh. Squeeze it, squeeze it. Hold your abs in here. This will help stabilize your body and prevent it from flopping around all over the place. We don't want flopping, no flopping. Check your form. If you feel this anywhere other than in that weird area that I talked about, then you might be doing it wrong. You might be falling too far to the back or to the front. Three, two, one. Love it. Okay, stretch it out here. This one you don't need your weight. You're gonna come onto your stomach. And if you have pain in your hip bones from lying in your stomach, just put that towel underneath your hip bones. Rest your head on your hands here. Bring your legs together, and you're gonna squeeze your legs in and tap them down. The thighs are slightly off the floor when you're doing this. If you can't do the full extension, you can come right here. Still get that burn. Feel it already? Yes, sir. Make sure to rest your head down. I'm just lifting it so I can see the camera. You don't want to put too much strain in your neck. Ooh, we are shaping all kinds of legs in this workout. Yes. Time to rest. You can go into a child's pose. While you're doing that, I'm going to show you the next exercise. Last exercise. Okay. This one you want to lean back on your hands. Hold your abs in. You're going to bring your knee towards your chest, down, and then your heel towards your chest. So you're turning your knee out to the side. So it's knee to chest, heel to chest. This one is probably the most challenging because it takes a lot of leg strength to keep the thigh lifted the entire 40 seconds. 
So please don't feel bad if you have to take a break here. You should feel this everywhere in your quads. Your inner thighs, everywhere, okay? Rest it out, woo, love it. Coming into the side here. Okay. And don't worry if it doesn't feel like a long enough stretch, that's coming really, really soon. Hold your abs in, catch your breath. Knee in, heel in. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Almost done with this workout. I just can't believe it, it went so fast. Halfway already. Make sure you eat good for your body. If you're eating foods that are healthy, that your body doesn't like or it's intolerant to, you're not gonna feel good, guys. You're gonna be sick. So all the salads in the world aren't gonna make you feel good if you're allergic to them. Whew. So find what's good for you, eat it, exercise, rest when you need to, don't stress out about the small things, enjoy your life and you're gonna feel better in no time. Okay guys, get ready for a nice relaxing stretch. Okay, lovely job today, you guys are amazing. Be proud of what you just did. Now let's stretch out all of those muscles so we feel great for the rest of the day. So we're gonna start with a nice butterfly stretch. We work those inner thighs like crazy. So put your heels together. It's totally normal if your knees pop up. In time, you can press them down a little bit farther with your elbows. We're gonna stay here. Or if you're really flexible, you can push those heels out farther and lean forward. It's just a deeper stretch. Take some calming breaths here. Bring your heart rate down. Loosen everything up. Love it. Okay, so we're gonna stretch out our outer thigh. So you're gonna bend, bleh, I can't even talk today, bend one knee and cross the other leg over top and just do a little twist here. It's like, what time is it? Time to stretch. Love it. Pull that knee towards your chest so you feel an even deeper lengthening in the outer thigh, that little, I don't know what you call it, little fat pad that's right in between the outer thigh and glutes. We gotta find the name for that. Okay, let's switch. If you like this workout, stay tuned for future FibroFit arms and legs workouts. I'm so excited about it. Please let me know in the comments if it was too hard, too easy, how you felt after. Again, I love the input. It helps me design these workouts so that they're effective for everyone. Okay, great job. We're gonna do a seated stretch here. I'm gonna stretch out the back of our legs and you're just gonna reach forward toward your ankles, your toes, or your shin. Try not to let your shoulders hunch up to your ears. That's just gonna cause unnecessary strain. Okay, now, if you can, you're gonna pull your toes back towards you. Ah, you feel it? Those calf muscles, we worked them. Great work. Okay, you're gonna turn to the side. Come down onto your arm. Stack those hips. You're gonna grab the top of your foot and pull it back, just like we did in the warm up. But now we're doing a deeper stretch, holding it here in a static way, not moving it. Love it.
We have to switch sides, so slowly bring yourself up. Drop it down. Grab the top of your foot and pull it back. Hold your abs in. Okay, now we're gonna turn it onto our back. Okay, this one you're gonna bring your knees into your chest. <sighs> Lengthening out the low back here because we did work it even though it's a legs workout. And now you're gonna push your knees out to the side and pull them towards you. Feel the difference? <sighs> Don't forget to breathe. Calm your heart rate. Drop those knees down. You're gonna take both knees to one side and try to keep your shoulders on the ground. Just loosen up that back. Let's switch sides. Bring your head to the opposite side. Great work, okay. Stretch your legs out long, your arms out long. Reach, 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 reach with your arms and toes as high as you can. And then just relax and let everything fall into the floor. I'm Suzanne, thank you for watching. See you next time. Hi guys. Hi guys, welcome back to Coco Lime. I'm back to bring you a new toning series that I designed it. <laughs> it is traditional base moves done in a certain way that will prevent any. Okay, just doing this. Oh my goodness.